Uh, first of all, how was your off season? Where'd you spend it, and I guess how would you work on? Oh, eh, pasé el off season en Tampa, donde yo vivo, eh, preparándome para esta temporada estar saludable otra vez. Eh, en el, trabajando el bateo, lo que necesito mejorar para este año y esas cosas. Yeah, he, he uh, stays in Tampa Bay in the offseason, so he did a lot of his work workouts and hitting, you know, working all his things there in Tampa this offseason. Woody kind of said that he felt like you got fatigued at the end of last season. That kind of caused a little bit of a skid. And he said you're ready for a full 162 this year. How do you feel going into this season, especially now that you have a lot of protection throughout the lineup too? Bueno, primero, como siempre digo, contento y, sabes, excited por lo que viene. Eh, estoy preparándome cada día para jugar 162 juegos y poniendo, estoy poniendo la mentalidad donde va y creo que voy a estar preparado para lo siguiente. Yeah, this season he's, he's ready to go. I mean, you know, we got a lot more, feel like we're more competitive this year. And he's excited, he's been working mentally, physically, he's been doing everything he needs to do to get ready for this season, and he's ready to go 162 games. I know the Rangers have kind of revamped a lot of the mental skills and staff and all of that. Have you talked to any of them going into this season? Oh, todavía, todavía, así sabe, como que empezamos hace pocos días, y ahora como estamos relacionando, estamos viendo qué es lo que queremos hacer y trazando el plan. Pero sí, creo que la parte mental es lo primero, ¿sabes? La, una de las primeras prioridades que tengo para esta temporada. Yeah, since it's been so short and so quick, they're, you know, working on, you know, preparing for the season and whatnot. But, yeah, within due time, he'll get in and start talking with some of these people just to kind of help his mental mental state to get ready for the season. What is it, what is it like for you to, I mean, going, you know, last year, you know, with it being like you and, and Nate and kind of being the, the center, now you're, in the same hitting group as Corey Seager and Marcus Simeon, like, what's it like being in the same group as those guys and being able to watch how they go about their business? Creo que es bueno, no tener eh, a peloteros como ellos, no cerca, poder mirar cómo cuál es su rutina, qué es lo que piensan, su plan de juego, y creo que eso nos va a ayudar mucho a esta temporada a tener el éxito. Yeah, he's excited to be able to, to be in the same group with those guys. So, you know, he watches, and learns, and tries to learn things that their their routines and to try to kind of pick little things that they do so he can kind of improve his game. And uh, he's really excited about it. Adolis, what was, what was the thing at the end of last year that most frustrated you or that you wanted to work on this winter? No, I think this year, you know, work on the patience, as I said, the game mental, which is to try to know what I want to do the contrary and not to hurry to go to the game. Yeah, he, he was going to try to be more patient you know, and, and at the plate, so he can prepare that way better this year instead of just kind of attacking, attacking, but you know, now to be, be able to see better you know, pitches so that he can uh, help his offense. How have Donnie and Tim, I, again, I know it's early, you know, we're only three days in the camp, but Donnie and Tim working with you, how has that been? I think, as I said, it's been a long time, we've been very fast, but I think we've been preparing well and yeah, again, it's a, it's it's a short time for them to kind of get to know each other and everything. So it's a, it's a work in progress, but he's a, he's excited to work with them.